Nikki and I are coming from my very own living room here at home and I chose this setting because I wanted to just show you how easy it is if you can find a space large enough for your yoga mat then you could do some of these exercises that we're going to see today. So Mikey's going to say bye and we're going to get started here in just a minute. So I have put the pups away and before all of this I took a bath a nice warm bath and I recommend that you take a bath so that your muscles are nice and heated and warm and ready for stretching because today what I want to show you are some stretches for your hips those glute muscles that will also as a byproduct uh, take care of some of that low back pain that you may be experiencing. So I know for a fact that most of us uh, sit a lot during our days and uh, some of those may be people that work at a desk and uh, maybe can't get up to stretch as often as they want or just don't stretch as often as they should. Um, also people at night you know you get off work and you go home and you sit on the couch and watch tv so you know a lot of us can use these stretches for our hips that will help our low backs and uh, so let's get into some of that today we are going to be using one of our self-care tools one of my favorites which is a resistance band these are great for strengthening muscles and you can use them also because they stretch. They make great stretching buddies, if you will. I picked mine up at Beals or Bales, if you're my mother-in-law, she says Bales, but I say Beals. Um, there's places like TJ Maxx and Ross, I've seen them for you know five bucks for a set of three. So you can also go online to find these and uh, it's such a really simple tool for your self-care toolbox so resistance bands if you don't have a resistance band at home or available you can also use something like a hand towel or you can use a bath towel you would just use it long ways and roll it so that you can get your foot in there because that's basically what we're going to be doing as we move along here a little further i have a pillow i'm going to put behind my head for support and then i'm going to get seated i'm going to take my resistance band and i'm going to loop it under my foot so it's real sturdy and then I'm going to get positioned on my back. The opposite leg of what I'm trying to um, stretch is going to lie flat on my mat. I'm going to have my other leg straight or add a little slight bend if that's more comfortable. I'm going to just take my left arm and lay it flat on the ground. I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths and let my hamstrings relax a little bit. And then I'm going to just allow my leg to start moving towards the right. And my band is just giving me that support so that I don't feel like I have to work at this and I can actually get a stretch. If you don't go that far, it's okay. It's something that you just build up to. So it's really important that you work with the comfort of your body where your body is at this moment. The more you breathe, the easier it will be for your body to stretch. You're going to lean into this stretch for about 30 seconds to a minute or at least three or four good deep breaths. 
When you feel like you've had a good stretch, you can feel it along the hamstrings, you can feel it along the side of your thigh and up into your hip. When you feel like you've had enough there, you come back up and you switch hands and then lay flat your arm and allow your leg to fall out to the other side. And this feels amazing. This is going to stretch your inner thigh or your adductors. And you follow the same principles. You hold it for 30 seconds to a minute or three or four nice, slow, deep breaths. This stretch feels awesome. When you feel like you're finished with this one, your body will tell you, and you can come back up and then relax your leg down and get ready for the opposite side. So what did you notice while you were doing that stretch? For me, I noticed I could feel it through my calf. I definitely felt it through my hamstrings. And I also felt it a bit in my hip. Depending on where you feel it the most may just mean that you might want to consider doing these stretches a little more often and target those specific areas. You can target your calf more when you have a bend in the ankle. So when we had our leg up, if you were to make sure you had a bend in the ankle, you will definitely feel more of that throughout the calf. You're definitely gonna feel that through the hamstrings. But just remember, we work up to these things over time. We don't wanna feel any pain. If you feel any pain, legitimate pain, you want to cease and desist. We don't want that. So it's, it's better to go in slow increments rather than trying to win the war all at once. Just a little friendly reminder. Our next exercise is going to be awesome for our hips, for our sacroiliac joint, which is the back of our pelvis where our glutes attach to our sacrum. I've turned my mat sideways for this next exercise and you're going to need to have a, um, a bath towel or a medicine ball, um, something, a basketball, something that will separate your knees about eight to ten inches because we're going to squeeze against it so it needs to be something firm uh, I don't have any of those things, but I do have a hedgehog as a pet here at my house. So, you know, I'm improvising. So I'm going to use something that will give me that same desired effect of something 8 to 10 inches width between my knees. So you're going to go ahead and lay on your back. Supporting your head with your pillow. Your knees are going to be bent with your feet flat on the floor and you're going to take that thing, your basketball, your medicine ball, your rolled up pillows, whatever it is, for me it's my hedgehog litter, and you're going to place that between your knees. Now your ankles are going to be close together, so ankles touching and knees apart. All right, just rest here, take a deep breath in and out, in, and now you're going to squeeze your knees together as hard as you can. You're going to feel this in your pelvis, in the groin area where your legs meet your pelvis, and you may even experience a little pop, a popping sensation there. 
and that is okay. The pop is good. I'll explain that in just a minute. But you're going to hold that for about 15 seconds or so, and then relax. So I've relaxed. I'm going to take a deep breath, and then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze again as hard as I can, bringing those knees together. Don't hold your breath. And then you can go ahead and relax and let go. You're going to do that maybe even just one time, but you could do it as much as two or three times, whatever's comfortable for you. So I promised that I would explain the whole popping in the pelvic area. And so let's look at this. Let's pretend this is your pelvis. This being the front of your pelvis down here and this side being the back of your pelvis where your sacrum is. When we put that ball or that whatever between our knees in the front and we squeeze, what happens? It creates like this fulcrum point which creates space in the back. As we bring the front together, the back has to separate a little bit. So it creates a bit of a stretch there. And that is the whole secret to what I call the pelvic squeeze exercise. Final thoughts. If you don't have a journal, I recommend you get a little journal. I happen to really like this one. It says inspiration, so it's inspiring and makes me want to keep up with it. It's just like a bodybuilder or someone who works out at the gym and they take notes about all the exercises that they're doing. They track how many reps they've done, how many sets they've done, how much weight they've lifted. And you want to have something like this that you can look back on and see all of the self-care tips that you have taken into account and are practicing yourself at home. This is just something that's been really helpful for me and I recommend it to you as well. I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I appreciate you being here with me today. I hope that this is helpful and that you got a lot out of it. So leave a comment, share, I would appreciate it. And I will see you next time with some more self-care videos to help you live a happier, healthier life. Bye for now. I'm Andrea McCauley, signing off.